there. How are you? I'm good, thanks. My ear is feeling so much better, which I'm so grateful for. It still kind of hurts, but it's getting better. Just jaywalking, you know, you know how it goes. <laughs> Um, so I am on my way to senior research and I don't know what we're talking about today except for kind of preparing and stuff because this Thursday is the first set of presentations which I am in charge of kind of coordinating and moving things along and I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it. I'm not nervous or anything it's just being the first to do anything kind of sucks. <laughs> because you set the example and I don't want to set the wrong example. I don't think I will, but it's still gonna be a challenge. So I think today is just setting things up, stuff like that, preparing, we'll see. So now that I'm out of class, I could be doing more homework or I could be reading Timeless. So I think the choice is pretty obvious. Squirrel. Thanks, girl. I just really have been reading all day. I've got a little bit more left. This book is probably the slowest moving of the Parasol Protectorate series and it takes about halfway in to get to like the real plot and action. But it's all very good so far. It, even though it's slower, it's more focused on like the characters and relationships and tying up things that had been set up in previous books, but it's still pretty dang good. <sighs> so I'm gonna finish that tonight, of course. <laughs> so I did just finish reading Timeless, and it's it sucks to see a series end, and such a good series end. I mean, I knew this was the last book, but still. Ugh, sucks. Anyway, I... I'm kind of torn and I think I need to just kind of like sit with the book and think it over before I completely draw out my conclusion of what I thought. But if you read any reviews of this book, you'll see that people say that Carragher's tone is different or off or something and I completely agree. It's like she, it, it reads differently than any of the other books. And I'm not saying I don't like it because I, I really did love it. but especially at the end, a lot of things happened and a lot of dramatic things happened that she just kind of glossed over. Like, oh, a character almost died, but here he is with no explanation as to how he really kept from being dead even though he really should have died. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad he didn't die and I knew he wouldn't, but still. She glossed over many, many details that she kind of should have put in there and a lot of the big reveals were glossed over as well, so. But still an awesome book, still a very, very good series. Absolutely recommend them all. Each book kind of has its good sides and its bad sides. This just being the last book kind of heightens all of those things, so it's kind of hard not to look at it really critically, but definitely still a good book. Loved it. Yeah, so I said I would finish it tonight and I did. Now I guess I should kind of start some homework. Maybe. It's 1 a.m. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> See you tomorrow though. I gotta go to bed at some point. Good night. <laughs>